I'm going to do something which will end either good or end up really bad. So whatever the heck happens will have a huge impact to my time on a server. So you're probably thinking, what the heck are you up to? If you look at my deaths, they are 37, meaning I die a heck of a lot on a server compared to everyone else. What I'm about to do, or what, what did I just say? <laughs> what I'm about to do is gonna be, is gonna be a risk. In my area, I've updated it quite a bit, I mean, I've spent a lot of time the last few days working on my area and there's something missing in my area which I really 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 want and that is a beacon and in order to get a beacon I will need to defeat the wither and I have enough heads and I have enough potions, apples, I have the tools, the armor to do it so I'm gonna go ahead and do it oh god I'm not looking forward to do this. I've decided that I'm actually going to fight the wither instead of, you know, like trapping it in bedrock and so on. I kind of wanted to attempt to fight it to see how bad I'll screw myself over. But I feel confident enough that I, I can do it. I do have a cave underneath my area, which I will battle the wither in by myself, which is a risk. I have no one to back me up. I can't even fight a skeleton without taking damage. I do have protection for armor. It all has some mending on it. I have a lot of mending books. I think I have three left over, which is awesome. All from fishing. Oh my god, there's a... I might need to light this... Oh, it's... I might need to light this area up before I battle the wither. I think I'm ready, but I'm kind of not ready, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it before I chicken out. So here we go. Ooh. That's the first part. Okay, what did I have that I had milk? Right, what I should do is probably drink this. God, um, okay, I need to get rid of that. I don't know what I'm getting, what do I need? What did I just drink? Okay, um, put that there. I might need to eat an apple as well. Okay, there's, there's no backing out now, I'll just eat an apple. That there, and that there, and oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what have I done? What have I done? Oh no, this is really bad. <laughs> it's gonna explode, it's gonna explode. So I need to back up a bit. <sighs> I'm really nervous, okay. Where's it gone? Oh, it's over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, it's just hiding up though. Okay, what I need to do is shoot it. Then when it has a blue glow around it, I can't, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, uh, someone come on and save me. What's my heart set? I can't see them. Okay, this is actually going okay. Alright, I think it's time to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm stuck in it. I'm stuck down here. Oh my god, I'm nervous. I can't even scroll. Right, I'm actually... <laughs> Let's put this down. Um... Ah, oh, damn it, damn it. So hard when there's no one watching your back. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, I did it! No way, that was a lot easier than I expected. So, <laughs> I have got a nether star. No way I can work on a beacon in my area, and I will show you guys what I'll be planning on working on in my area, and updating you guys on what I've just built. Wow! The first thing I did in my area was change all of these walls to clay because I had an issue where my house burnt down and I didn't want to have that issue again so I thought why not use clay I've done a clay build before and so I did it I then added a large tree at the center of my area kind of kind of center but I guess it is the center because all the paths 
are like linked to the middle. So I thought, why not add a tree? It makes it look awesome. I got rid of my farm as I have the mass wheat farm over there. I actually need to go harvest that. I finished up my chest room and I updated it a bit because the shape of it was bad and the the wall was wrong on a side. I don't even know how I didn't notice that, but that was, that was just terrible. I was rushing the build. I kind of just felt lazy, but I put a little more effort into it. I've got all of these chests in here now. All my stuff is organized because I, I'm not a very organized person. I, I don't even know why I zoomed in like that. But yes, that's a chest room. I've got a welcome board over here. Uh, I've got the map, I've got the current builds and upcoming builds. So I need to work on my beach resort, which, hmm, it's been a project which I kind of decided to do a long time ago, but I haven't worked on it since. I guess I'll make sure it's ready by summer so I can put that project to the side while I work on other projects such as the balloon house and so on. The path leading to spawn has also changed a lot. Instead of a cobblestone path and the ice, ice block, I even know what it was called, packed ice path, I changed it to the 1.9 dirt, which is awesome. I've also added loads of large trees because I'm kind of liking that design. Like it lights up the area as well. I guess I just cleaned up the area a little bit more Oh, actually, I missed out two two big things in my area. How did I how did I miss that? That's terrible. Okay, so I do have a new fishing farm. I built it in a style of a boat because I guess it makes sense. I didn't really just want a cobblestone fishing farm like the one I have in the ice spikes biome. So you do your fishing here. All the items go down here. There's like a secret entrance kind of going down here. There's loads of chests. All the items start down here. I've got lots of books and stuff. Um, this is most of this stuff was gathered overnight when I was AFK. But that is my fishing farm. Oh damn it! Oh there you go. <laughs> I finally got out. Ice doesn't melt during nighttime. What else? Oh yeah yeah. There used to be an end crystal on top of that, but. It's gone now. I kind of shot it as a joke. I'll be replacing it soon. The final thing in my area, which is it's the biggest thing in my area. I now have a skeleton spawner located down here. Ha ha ha. So you come in here and you're like, oh, enchanting. Then you see the secret entrance going down here. And there should be a minecart. Oh, no, there's no minecart. Oh, dear. <laughs> I need to put a chest with spare minecarts like Sam does because yeah there's no minecart there that's so sad what you should normally do is you should travel down here you it's not that far it's you just no oh, it's a lot easier when you're in a minecart you travel down here and then you enter a room and another room with the XP grinder so how this skeleton farm works is you start off by opening the fence gate over here. This allows skeletons to fall down. You can just stand around here while you're AFK. Once you're done from AFKing and wanna kill the skeletons, you can go ahead and close the fence to avoid any more skeletons hopping down. When that is closed, you push this button, which is a crusher. This crusher takes the skeletons down to half a heart and you can swing your sword and finish off all the skeletons at once. So I'll show you an example. <laughs> so now most of the skeletons should be down to half a heart, except from the ones with armor. I think they like, yeah, they, they, they are like two hits. Yeah, there you go. But that is how the skeleton farm works. Pretty cool. I just realized I completely forgot to mention that now I have cats. I found jungle biome when me and Bacon were just biome hunting. He traveled really, really, really far and had no luck. I think I traveled around 2000 blocks and I managed to find a jungle, which is awesome. So now I have cats and I'm getting some lag, what the heck? Uh, I like how my cat just tries to help. Yeah, so I've got cats now. I named this cat Zest because it's outside the chest room and I thought, why not add a, add a name which kind of sounds like chest? I, I, I don't know why I did it, but I'm just gonna walk away now.
I've quickly hopped back down into the caves to get myself obsidian so I can go craft myself the beacon and place it in my chosen area and that, that, wow okay that was pointless wasn't it ah what there you go yeah so i'll go get myself some obsidian i just need a couple more right i am gonna go ahead and craft myself the beacon oh my god i can't wait i think it's like this yes i got it right Whew. normally i craft things wrong but i got it right for the first time Maybe not the first time, but whatever. Okay, I need to get some iron. I do have some iron blocks in here. I think I'm just going to get nine. So if I go like that, and then... Uh, there we go. Oh, oh. Uh, that's annoying. Okay. No, don't place it back. All right. I've got myself nine iron. I'll go place it over in this large circle area. I'm going to have a really cool fancy build over here. Don't know exactly what it's going to be yet, but I'll figure it out. Hopefully by the next episode. I'll just smash this, I don't care. Alright, I guess I can just... Do I not have a shovel? Oh my god, I'm going to have to break the... Oh my... So if I if I place that here and, and place that there and, and punch the rest of the dirt away, I'm silly for not bringing myself the shovel. Okay, hopefully it lights on or turns on. What am I saying? How do you, how do you turn it on? Oh, yes! I've got a beacon! No way, that's so cool! I'll be adding more iron underneath it. I just wanted to get this thing on. Oh, I can make it purple. I need some purple glass. I'll go make that purple right now. Do I have any purple dye? Do I have any purple dye, kitty? No. Actually, I might do. Let me have a look in here. Oh, I do. Okay. I think you craft glass blocks like this. Yes. I can make it purple. No, wait. Actually, I can make it a... um. That, that thin version. Wait, yeah, screw it, I'll do that. There we go. Get a, get a plane. I would make it rainbow, but the rainbow beacon's over there. Plus, purple is my favorite color. My name is purple, and I have a purple flag, so purple would make sense. There we go, there we go. No way, that's so cool. Can't wait to work on a build. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. So that is it for today's episode. I hope you guys li are liking my new area. I'll be working on my area for the remaining days of this week or whenever I really finish it. But hopefully in the next episode, I'll have the beacon area done. I need to decide what I'm going to do for that. But that is all. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.